What's up everybody? Today we're here to talk about the Marvels because they're shaping up to be a massive flop. That is according to a lot of articles. Uh, and to be quite honest, honest, if you take all the latest Marvel shows, uh, they haven't been doing that great either. And not only that, uh, the fact that Disney is doing so bad, the stocks are down. I mean, they managed to destroy Star Wars and now they're doing the same garbage over Marvel and uh, even Daredevil that was, you know, a show that was pretty much, I mean, already had a great fan base. Now they're just gonna start all over. Uh, so things are not really looking very good. And uh, I don't know, do you think that it is true that the Marvels could be a massive flop? To be quite honest, I don't think the Captain Marvel character could uh, hold her own movie without being linked to a major plot. What do I mean by that? We know that the first Captain Marvel was huge. It had, I think it made a billion, if I'm not mistaken, it made a ton of money. But we also know that that movie really came in between two really important movies. That was literally the very end of a 10 year saga. So Endgame and all of that, uh, we knew that of course we had to watch Captain Marvel, but now I think things are a little bit different. I mean, uh, this movie doesn't seem to be connected to anything bigger and, and even worse, people don't seem to be interested. Uh, the Marvel shows are not doing that great, but let's see what this article is arguing here. Why, why do they think that uh, the Marvels might flop? All right, so the Marvel Cinematic Universe has enjoyed unparalleled success over the years with movies like Avenger Endgame uh, breaking box office records. However, the Marvels or Captain Marvel 2 has raised concern among industry insiders and fans alike. Early predictions indicate that the sequel is not merely expected to underperform, but it might turn out to be a significant disappointment and a complete box office bomb for Disney. Another one. I don't think they can, they, they can take uh, too many more. But, you know, I made a video a couple of days ago saying that Disney is uh, not doing so well and they totally deserve this kind of uh, attention, bad attention, because for many years now, people have been uh, complaining and saying that uh, the products that they are putting out there are not very pleasing. But instead of listening to criticism, they just kept calling people names, you know, letting the directors kind of say whatever they wanted, saying that the problem was the audience. And in fact, uh, that the problem was just that they want to push a certain narrative. And if you don't like it, that's your problem. And uh, this is really costing them because it turns out you really need your customer. You know, when you keep offending your customer, they just just give up. You know, I, I remember a time in which people were way more passionate about Star Wars and now it seems to just be meh. You know, we have some episodes that are really great here and there in the shows but it feels like what they did was such a, a destruction was so big that I don't know, it's just things are different. And now it seems that Marvel is heading towards the same direction. Uh, let's see what else is saying here. Captain Marvel 2 is scheduled for a November 10 release, a prime slot leading up to Thanksgiving, a time when families often uh, seek entertainment at the cinema due to school holidays and colder weather. Okay, so historically movies released during this period, period I expected to garner significant revenue. However, concerning projections from Box Office Pro, estimate the sequel opening weekend to only bring in between 50 million and 75 million that's that's really low for a marvel movie uh, with a total domestic run range from 121 million to uh potential 189 million okay if that's true that would be terrible and they're probably gonna have a lot of articles saying oh uh superhero it's just too many superheroes people can't take it anymore we just need to do something else. no it's not it's just the crap that you guys keep pushing the same narrative we don't want talking characters we don't want you know it's just that that same stuff that is just it's not even fun to talk about anymore you know and to be quite honest i'm not sure if you are a captain marvel fan i thought that the character uh i i wasn't a big fan of the movie i thought her, her, the first captain marvel movie was just an okay movie had 
good visual effects. I didn't think Captain Marvel was particularly a likable character, which I think that's also is always a problem. Like she's not Wonder Woman, you know. Wonder Woman is a very likable character, uh, and I think your hero has to have qualities that makes your audience like them. Captain Marvel was a little bit annoying in my opinion but that's just my opinion uh and i a lot of people were speculating that her uh, original movie made made a ton of money for the fact that it was linked to a bigger plot but here it's literally like what's the point in watching so since there's not a bigger setup yet i think yes it's uh, it's very plausible that it could indeed bomb so let's continue with a production budget of 152 million captain marvel 2 projected high end earnings of 189 million fall short of breaking even yeah that's so true uh while this doesn't account for international revenues the sequel anticipated earnings are starkly contrasted with the first captain marvel impressive 429 million domestic haul uh, we all know why we just talked about it i also believe that they will be rethinking a lot of the stuff because there's on top of this articles there's a lot of articles talking about a soft reboot in which they would bring retired characters back so when you can't survive on your own now and you need to bring your older characters back, I mean, it means that what they, whatever they're doing now is just not working. And to be quite honest, when you kill your major characters, I just don't think there's anything left. Like, think about the DC Universe, for instance. DC Universe without Superman is just not DC Universe without Batman, without Wonder Woman. You can't kill those characters off completely, you know? Maybe they'll die in a movie, but eventually they'll have to come back. Uh, even in the comics, Superman comes back. Uh, and the fact that the movie was, indeed, if you look at uh, Tony Stark's journey, it was a very po powerful story. I think it really worked. But we didn't just lose Iron Man. We lost also Captain America and so many others. It's just too much, you know? Uh, and then after that, I mean, we had Thor, but they didn't do a lot of great stuff with Thor either. So I don't know if they are really doing soft reboots and they really want to bring older characters. Uh, it's because they don't have confidence on, on the material that they are creating right now. You know, you should just bring the Hulk back the way that he used to be. You know, we want to see Smash. We just don't want to see Hulk being, as um, you know, I don't know, a second character because now we need She-Hulk. It's the problem with these uh, female characters, in my opinion, uh, it's not the characters who is writing them, is that they don't know how to create a balance between original characters and newer characters. So what do they have to do? which is a very weird thing in my opinion instead of having uh the older character sort of being a mentor no they usually want that character to be destroyed or be weaker so the newer character could shine but that's not how things work not even in life we always need mentors you know whether your mentor is a man or a woman you, you're always going to have mentors and, and people that you look up to. That doesn't mean that that person is weaker. Most of the time, that person's way stronger than you are because you're still on your journey. And I feel like what they have been doing with newer characters that are taking the stardom now is exactly the opposite. I mean, if you look at Star Wars, how they wrote Rey in the story, they made her just know everything be good at everything just extremely talented i mean talent is one thing but the fact that she was even you know like beating luke skywalker that's just ridiculous you know it just doesn't work storytelling wise storytelling wise it's the same thing if you saw if you had frodo baggings uh having a fight with, uh, you know, Gandalf and just destroying him. Like that, that kind of stuff doesn't make sense. But anyways, guys, that's just my opinion. Uh, do you think that the Marvels are indeed in trouble? Do you think they have the potential to flop? I totally do. But uh, time should tell. <laughs> we shall see. Anyways, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this story. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.